welcome to Beyond Books. My name is David Silverman. We're here at the, public, the Novi Public Library. Uh, today I'll be interviewing Adam Zapp of Ascension Brewery. Adam, thank you for coming and welcome to the Novi Library. Thanks for having me. Um, today we'll be talking about our upcoming program here at the library uh, with Ascension Brewery. Uh, Thursday, May 12th, here in the evening, we'll be doing a, a home brewing program, so you'll be able to kind of give the patrons a, a little insight into everything that goes into the brewing process. Uh, so today we just have a few questions for you to introduce you to the Novi Library community. Um, our first question is, what got you into opening a bar and opening a, a brewing business? Um, well, thanks for the question, and uh, thanks again for having me here. The uh, the brewery got started because I have been a home brewer for a really long time, and for me, uh, doing something like this class with the community is really going to be a fun thing because I live about a mile away from here and just the the thought of like talking about brewing at this library that I drive by every day is just really like a fun thing for me but um, it got it got started because I was brewing at my house and didn't have really any other outlet for that I I own another unrelated business to this and um, I've noticed um, in recent you know, like probably the last six months to 18 months, there have been breweries kind of in other cities that have popped up, and uh, Nova I didn't have one, and I had thought for a long time that we really needed one. Um, many years ago, there was another one here, but it shut down. It's been closed for probably 10, 12 years. So I thought, hey, if I'm ever going to do this, this would be a great place to do it. And what made you choose the brand name of Ascension? Um, Ascension is just a reflection of my Christian faith. That's why I named it that. Okay. Um, how big is your team right now? Um, I think right now we're at 15 or 16 employees, um, some of them obviously part-time, some full-time. How many did you start with? Mm, it was around that too. We have, we've grown a little bit in, in a few different areas. In the brewing area we've added people, um, and, but our kitchen and our, our dining room needs have basically stayed about the same. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the space that you, how you found the space that you're in and uh, how you like the space so far? Yeah, um, we love it. It's a great spot to be in. Uh, for us, it's, it's nice because, um, you know, being a smaller startup, we, we know we have an 80 person capacity. So we don't have a huge space to begin with, but there weren't really a whole lot of places like that even available in Novi. I looked everywhere and for the budget that we had and the project that we wanted to do, um, there were probably only one or two other choices that would have even remotely been possible. Um, but this one we felt like was the best choice because the building itself is, um, you know, it's kind of a, a cute wood construction, older building that's got a patio that wraps around the front of it. And it's just, it really fits like the aesthetic of the, the building that we created inside for our guests. Now you've done a lot of that customization of the decor inside. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, the inside is uh, just like a really a warm, comfortable, inviting atmosphere. Um, a lot of like warm wood tones, uh, things that I've built myself. Um, the bar actually was created by just kind of a ragtag crew of all of us, um, you know, people who weren't really construction professionals, but we have to obviously have that done for, you know, the plumbing and the electrical and some of the trades and stuff. But um, all of our tables were built by us. The bar was built by us. We have this big pallet wall that goes back behind the bar. I built that. And um, it's, it's basically like a big dream come true kind of a project for us. Have you encountered any uh, challenges in the first year or so that you didn't quite anticipate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, our, for, our, uh, our six month anniversary actually was this past weekend. So um, going from never having owned a restaurant or anything where I've had more than two employees, one of them being seasonal, uh, huge challenge for me. So multiple personalities to, to manage people's schedules, people's real life situations that are going on, like all of that was a huge adjustment for me personally. Um, and then at, at the beginning, we had a lot of changes that we needed to make for uh, staffing, like we figured out that we were actually losing money on lunch at the time, so we just closed for lunch. But then I looked around and I, I checked out all these other breweries and saw their schedules and I, I noticed that we were actually the only brewery that was open for lunch in Southeast Michigan. So since then, Granite City has opened and they're obviously like a little bit more of a restaurant, but they're open for lunch, so it's maybe not quite as unusual, but um, we had to close for lunch and that meant that there were gonna be staffing changes and that was a huge challenge for me personally. Okay. Um, now that we've gotten to know the business a little bit, uh, can you talk about what patrons can expect when they come here for the uh, evening event on Thursday, May 12th? Uh, when you guys show up the first time, uh, we want to just talk like a little bit from a, 
you know, a personal standpoint, like why do you why do you want to get into it? What's fun about it? What can you expect? You know, is it hard? Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the actual process probably at a later meeting, but um, I want to get people's uh, thoughts on like, you know, are you are you really interested in doing this, and and what sort of things can you actually produce if if it's your first time ever making beer at home. Are you going to get anything that's actually worth drinking, or are you going to get it out of and out of the the jar and want to just dump it down the toilet? So, there's a lot of ways that people can go with it. I'm I'm looking forward to it to to describe some of the options people have in, in terms of home brewing. Okay, um, what is your favorite kind of beer? Uh, that's a tough question. Um, I get this question a lot. Being a brewery owner, uh, it's kind of like the de facto, like, oh, well, if I, you know, what is you know the guy who owns the place? What's his favorite beer? But the truth is really like I don't have a favorite style. I have, I think maybe my go-to if if there's not a lot of options, I'm gonna probably reach for an IPA. Um, I like hoppy hoppy beers, but it, the true answer to that question really depends on the season, what kind of mood I'm in, maybe what food I'm eating. Um, it's just kind of all over the place. Wintertime, I, lot, I like a lot of dark stouts. Summertime, I like lighter, more refreshing options. Um, and the fall, kind of a mix. Okay. Um, now, along, along with the event here that Thursday, we do have a, a little brewery tour and tasting on Saturday, May 14th. Um, can you talk about what, what we can expect there? Yeah, I'm excited for the people who come to this home brewing class that we're going to do here. Um, after we get together up at the brewery, we're going to all share a pint together, talk a little bit more. I'll get to share some of the things that I was discussing a second ago in person, and then we're going to go take a tour. We have a basement underneath Ascension that has our fermentation room, the walk-in cooler, our dry storage, like all those other things. So it'll be a really neat hands-on way to see what the process looks like on a commercial scale versus a home brewing scale. So we're going to go downstairs and you guys are going to get a private tour and get to see everything coming from me. Well, it sounds great. Uh, I know I, for one, am really looking forward to having you here and then uh, consequently going, going to Ascension for, for the tour and tasting. Um, so I want to thank you again for coming in today and answering our questions. Um, and thank you to watching Beyond Books. Cool. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.